What is up, Stalker Nation? This is Daystalker here, back in the world of Feed the Beast Infinity. Today we're going to continue with Tinkers. As you see, I did a little bit more work on the smeltery. I'm going to make it a little bit more grout, finish the back half here. I also set, went through, found a nice lava pool underneath, filled it up with lava. So now we're going to work on building some tools, getting our books, and deciding which one we want to build it out of. What material we want to use. Most likely going to use iron because that is what I have an abundance of right now. Uh, might try bronze. I'm going to take a look, see what the different properties of each one is. But continued mining all the way down here. And in the process, we found a nice little ravine. Found a nice ravine. Found another little subsection right here. Caves. Down beneath, found good resources. Got some uh, redstone over there. Got some lava. Going. Uh, Got another massive, massive cave right there. I haven't really done too much more exploring other than that. I went running around trying to find the wood I told you I was going to try and find. Still no luck. And I wanted to get back on, getting our video out to everybody. Show up. There it goes. Unfortunately, I am still recording on a laptop. It's going to be a bit before I get my computer. Uh, even after I finally get the money together, I'm mostly waiting on my tax return. But after I get the get it paid for, it's going to take about a week after that, maybe even a little longer. So it is night out. We're going to go ahead and sleep through the night. As you can see, had a little bad luck while I was exploring. Found a creeper and a couple other things that decided that they didn't like me too much. And it sounds like we have something outside right now. See if we can get the kill for it. Nope. Nope, it's running away. Looking for cover. Now, I have noticed that the AI for mobs has changed drastically. I noticed that they backpedal more and they do a little bit more of a strategic fight, it seems like. Which really surprises me. And I honestly like it a lot. Alright. Materials and you. So I got tool materials here. Take a quick look. All right. Shuriken. I know that's a new one. So let's see here. Let's see what we want to use. I know we're not going to use wood. Honestly, because it lets you select from here. Let's take a look at iron. There we go. Iron. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. A big level diamond. Hmm. I was thinking about making the handle out of iron. The durability is not 100% the greatest, but it's not bad either. Let's see here. Where's the. There's copper. Well established. You gain additional XP. Okay, that could be something worth looking into. It's got a, it's almost looks like it has a better durability. A uh, durability of thirty, durability of sixty. No, it's about half the durability. Now you've seen that blue slime, negative fifty. That seems real great right there. But netherrack, negative one hundred and fifty. You're just asking for your anything you make. Oh wow, that's even worse. Why would you make anything? Oh, durability 990. I guess you can make the head out of it. Sturbo. Huh. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Bronze. Durability 70, so it's the best. 430 on that. Mining levels diamond. Dense. Your tool lasts longer when it has less durability. Hmm. 
I did find some lead. Might use lead. I was thinking about using steel. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> Is this for like the different tools? No. Hmm. Steel looks good for the. Can't even cut words. <laughs> that that looks good for probably uh, a sword. Maybe even what's the durability for the bronze? Four thirty, five forty. See, that's even good for that. I know I want to use at least an iron handle to give it its uh, yeah, that property. So let's take a look here. We're gonna get started on this. Come over here. We're gonna get out our iron. Gonna get out. Honestly, oh, don't want the lead. Copper and tin, and get out the gold. Throw that in here. Let's see if I have one ingot here. I do not. That's a shame. And honestly, I didn't think this through. I don't even know if I have the stuff for making uh, the cast because I know you can make clay casts, but can you still make the bronze? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That shouldn't have happened. Hi, how you doing? Uh, go do what we can. No, get away. I've had an issue lately with things spawning in the base and I can't figure out why. Uh, if you know the hotkey for the light level, please share that. Alright, so we're going to go back to our book here. See if it tells me in here on what I can use for castings. Go up. Let's see here. Offhand harvesting. Huh. Nah, it's cool. It lets you harvest offhand. I think that's really cool. Uh, something I will be checking out is the crossbow. I'm kind of excited about that one. I know they got the shuriken and everything. I've seen a lot of people use that. I haven't seen anybody using the crossbow. So I really want to check that out. Um, well, I have to look the, up the other books here. So I meant to do this in the first video, I'm going to do it now real quick. I wanted to give a quick shout out to the team I work with. Um, they did something I did not expect. We had a homeless mother and a child come in the other day. And normally our company policy is we are to run them off the property, essentially. I work for... Uh, a fast food company but essentially the company had a real big issue with the homeless hanging out and everything else to the point where the company was getting the reputation of running a homeless shelter in the back of the store and so they ran they got rid of uh, we do have the clay though but I wanted to give a shout out because one of my employees I gave the child free food just because I'm a father of three. I have a real soft spot when it comes to children. The mother approached me and she said, uh, she even asked, she's like, is there any work I can do so I can get some food for my child? I can't say no to that. I can't do it. I'm not. And then my cashier approached me and they asked me what was going on or what they wanted. And I explained to them that there was a homeless mother and child and I'm giving the child free food. And... Uh, the mother offered to work for it, and the employee did something I didn't expect. They asked if they could give them their employee meal. And so I just wanted to give a shout out to that employee. I'm not going to actually use her name or anything, but I am very surprised about the fact, especially at her young of an age, of being so compassionate about uh, a homeless 
being so compassionate about someone who's homeless you don't really see that anymore in this generation and it's really saddening that that's the case okay so what I'm working on right now we got the molten clay in there as you can see nice weird looking level but there we go what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an ingot cast or no we're not mm, I lied no we're not I can make an ingot cask out of that, but it's not going to do me any good. So, let me think here. First thing I need to do is get. Okay, so first thing we got to do is we got to get our stencils. I had some made, just got to find them. There they are. Stencils. So you cut. And while we're standing here, let's grab some stone too so I'm not running back and forth on y'all. Boom. So we're going to come over here, we're going to go to stencil table. We're going to put our stencils in there. Now I love this new, this that they've done, this is new, this is new, pattern chest, not so new. But it used to be that you would have to click on this little left and right arrow until you reached what part you wanted to reach. Now they just have it all sitting right there, you want that, boom, right there pick at that pattern. Amazing. Just amazing. Need that. Tool rod pattern. I don't know if I need a binding or not. Uh, tool station. Let's take a look. For the pickaxe, I do need a binding. Now, I know most people normally go straight for the hammer and everything. I will be gaining a hammer. Don't know if it's going to be today or not. The reason I'm not going straight for it is because I do value uh, oh well, that's why. I do value the pickaxe. It is worth getting. Most people don't think it is. It is. You're not going to want to sit there and for one piece to get one piece of coal, use up nine durability on your hammer. You're not going to want to do it. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to build ourselves a pickaxe first. Now, I put the clay in there. We got iron on the bottom, four blocks, two ingots, or whoop, three ingots, and I've got clay on top. We're going to go ahead, we're going to flip those, and we're going to get some more iron thrown in there real quick. As you can see, pretty big tank, uh, 123 ingots free. I can hold a lot of liquid in this. This is going to be my form of ore duplication for the time being. But all you got to do to switch them is click and it flips the liquids around. We need to flip it around first so we can drop that in. Drop it in. While that's going on, I'm going to take a look and see if it tells me what I need for making steel because I don't entirely remember how to make steel. Uh, steel ingot, yeah, that's not very helpful. If you just show me a bunch of steel items, I'm going to be slightly irritated. <laughs> I know there used to be like really easy ways to get steel. I don't entirely remember them anymore. Uh, it's been a while since I actually played. That's not helpful at all. Oh, that's still good from immersive engineering. Yeah, that's not going to do me any good either. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, assembler? Oh, that's just what it can be made in. Huh. I'm going to have to look into what it takes to make steel. I'm pretty sure I still remember, but it's not really working out right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use bronze instead. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to throw... I believe it's... Might have the recipe backwards. Find out here in a second. It might be 3 to every 1 copper. I'm thinking it's... uh. Three copper to every one ten. We'll find out here in a moment.
There we go. Copper. As you can see, it's turning into bronze. Just like we wanted. And I absolutely love the look of this. That's why I wanted to put this window in here. Because you can see all the different liquids in it. I just think that's absolutely cool. There we go. So we got bronze down to the bottom now. So we're going to click. Going to get a bronze head here. No pun intended. Going to click that out. And then we're going to click our clay back in. And we're going to get ourselves the iron tool rod. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's see here. Oh, tool material, iron. 50, 60. Magnetic, magnetic. Okay. So, what is it for bronze? 80, 70. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go... Okay. Alright. We are going to go with the iron tool rod. And the reason I want to get the magnetic trait is just because it makes everything a little bit easier to get. You mine it, and it comes right to you. Pretty much jumps into your hand. It's so nice. There we go. We got that piece. We got this piece. Now we're going to work on our binding. We're going to need clay for that. Once again... Unfortunately, you can only use clay and or gold for your patterns. I like to try and get gold because it's a more permanent cast. Especially for... I don't know why I picked that up. Especially for... Um, later on, when you're doing the ingots and everything, it's a lot, it's a lot more helpful. Okay. You come over here, we're going to select our pick again. We're going to select what we want. There it is. Boom. Bronze pickaxe. It's got a diamond level for mining. Mining speed is 6.8. Tack speed 4.5. Modifier is 3. And it comes with the magnetic condensed trait. There we go. Now, something you can do, honestly, other than throw your pickaxe on the ground like a doof. <laughs> uh... Pattern chest is amazing, by the way. And I'm missing a no, I'm not. It's right here. Boom. This is another thing I really like. I keep forgetting about this new feature that you don't have to click out anymore. You can just click right between all of them. Absolutely amazing. Really, really smart idea. Uh, not entirely sure what we're going to go with weapon-wise. I like... The battle axe. Unfortunately, to make the battle axe, you need. Am I able to make a battle axe? Hmm. Let's take a look here. Because it used to be for the battle axe, you needed the iron, the tool forge. So the tool station, you needed the actual tool forge, which is something else we're going to be working on today because. Yeah, that's the sharpening kit. Sign plate. Yeah, because not everything is available. Like the hammerhead and stuff. You don't have that stuff available. The broadhead. Um, uh, might have the broadhead. Yeah, broad axe head. Still don't have the hammer plate, though. Kind of, or, hmm. Maybe. I'm going to go to tool station here. Yeah, see. I can't even make it right now. I can make a long sword. Uh, longsword is an offensive weapon. It is often used for charging into battle at full speed. Right click to lunge. Got a broadsword. Rapier. Hmm. Let's go with the frying pan. <laughs> uh. Huh. And I've never made a battle sign before. I'm actually going to make one just because they get incorporated shields now. For right now, I think we're going to go with the long sword. So we're going to need the 
As you can see down here, your hand guard, your sword blade, and your tool rod. So we're going to come back over here to our stencil table. We're going to get... Oh, already got the tool rod, so we don't need another one of those. Uh, should be sword blade. Yep, sword blade. Going to grab that. Stick that right down here for the moment. Find the other parts here. There it is. And the hand guard. Stick that down there. Grab that again. And come over here to part builder. Now, here's something that I like in the new version of Tinkers that they did. I think it's an ingenious, really great uh, upgrade from what it used to be. And that is, we're going to make this in a couple different steps here. So we're going to put this stuff in, and there we go. We got a Storm Long st Sword. Cheap, cheapskate, I'm cheap, sorry. There we go. Now I got a nice little sword here to fight with. You can right click, hold, wah, lunge into battle. We are going to sleep real quick. Don't see anybody down there. So as you've seen, we made our stone sword already. Now we're going to come back in here. And we're going to make those three parts again. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to put that in there. go. We're going to come over here and we are going to put them in our forge. We're going to have to add some clay to this. Look, Yeah, clay is starting to run a little low. Down to three blocks. Actually, I should have enough. Let's go ahead and get that going. How much bronze do we have left? One block, four ingots, and a bunch of iron, which is good. No! Ah, crap. Good thing we had a, quite a few blocks. Not what I meant to do. I meant to start getting my clay pulled out. So I use bronze for the uh, this as well because I don't know how to do steel yet. I'm guessing that's done. Yes, it is. We're going to throw the hardened clay back in there. We're going to throw more iron ore in there. We're going to select the iron. We're going to have some iron pour down in here. We're going to get that out. Now there is a reason I did this. And see? Ron's tool rod. Dense. Open up tool forge. You could never do this in any of the other one versions. And I love that they changed it. You throw that in there. Take this and throw that in there. Boom. And now it's got dents. I just upgraded it. You can upgrade your weapons without ever, ever having to build a whole new one. It used to be that you'd build a cheap one, and then you'd build a higher grade one, and build a little bit higher grade, so on and so forth, until it was finished. Now, you can just build nice and cheap right off the bat. Really nice, really quick, really easy. So we build our sword blade, we get that. we get our clay down here again real quick. Oh. oh, there we go. Well, we now have a brick of hardened clay. That's nice. Did I switch this yet? <laughs> it's back on clay, okay. That slightly sucks. But it happens. Mistakes will be made. I'm not perfect. Only one, there's only been one man on this world that's ever been perfect, and he's no longer here. There we go. Now we got our sword blade. And for the time being, I'm considering leaving it with the stone because something nice about it. Throw that in there. Get that. And now our density has gone way up, way, way up. 
The reason I'm considering leaving it is, let's see here, let's go this way and see if we find any of these. I haven't really explored this way too much. The whole reason I'm leaving the stone aspect in there for the handguard, yes, it's cheap, but it makes it cheap to repair. My pickaxe, I want to go a little bit heavier with it. I'm not really worried about the whole repair aspect or anything. If I have to repair it, I have to repair it. Not that big of a deal. But I don't really want to have to keep repairing my sword. Or not my sword, my pickaxe. I don't want to have to keep going down, repairing, going down, repairing, going down, repairing. It'll get re redundant and boring really fast. Um, get some potatoes. Get those cooking. I don't like wasting coal. Uh, you might notice I can be OCD about certain things. That's one of them. Now these are a great beginning source of food if you find a bunch of them really fast. Because as you can see, I start with 21, I'm down to 8. You go through a lot of them. Come over here. I'm missing my chest. Okay. Well, we're going to keep working on the tool forge here. Uh, I keep throwing iron in, one, to duplicate it. This is going to be our form of duplicating ores for the time being. But two, I'm wanting to get rid of this tool station. To get rid of that, I'm going to need a few more. And by a few more, I mean a lot more. Of the grout. So we're going to take the grout here. As soon as some of these get done. Big potato, not the greatest. Still not the worst. Take that out. Let this finish up. Boom. Boom. Get the clay back in there. Get the grout in there. While that's going, we're going to work on getting our iron going. Get a couple more iron blocks here. Uh, if I remember right, it is come over here in the crafting station we'll just start putting it in here should be four iron blocks boom that's cool how it even stands up a little bit and everything that's awesome Tigers Construct they put a lot of effort in changing up this mod and getting new things into it which I'm really happy about I'm really excited about it uh, next we're probably going to go into our power production. I've still got to take a look and decide what I want to do for power production. I'm thinking about doing solar rays at first. Not entirely sure. I got to look to see if they've what changes have been made, what solar rays are available, stuff like that, to even see if it's worth doing. Because there, for the longest time, solar rays were amazing, and that was the way to go. But that's back when Feed the Beast first started, and when Tech It was still popular. Tech it was the popular way of getting the mods and playing them and everything else before Feed the Beast really became a thing. And I apologize about the lag, that's because of the server. Back up. Uh, here soon, like I said, I will be building a new rig to play this on. Uh, when I build that rig, it's not going to be an issue playing this game, or any game for that matter. Uh, the new rig is going to be designed to, designed with you in mind, uh, it's going to be designed to pretty much run whatever I want on it at full efficiency and not even break a sweat. The only reason I'm not playing on my other laptop, I had a, I had another laptop prior to this and it kind of crapped out on me, it was an older laptop, it was about almost six years old but it was a de dedicated gaming laptop it was designed for playing the gamer games this laptop not so much but the other laptop got so old it does didn't even play these games anymore at all uh, 
it didn't play them at all anymore. It just... I would load in Minecraft, and I wouldn't even be able to load the world. I would... When 1.10 came out, it was funny. I tried to open up 1.10, and it just completely stopped altogether. I said, sorry, no, that's not happening. You're a fool. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. I love coffee. It is currently... 5.30 in the, in the evening, and I am drinking coffee right now. Why? Because I can. Alright, so we're going to come over here. We're going to get this finished off. I don't know why I did four of them. <laughs> Woo! I guess I need four anyway. Open up this, and we're going to go one right there. And there we go. Tool Forge. That is the granddaddy of it. That is the beast, the biggest, whatever you want to call it. This is it right here. This unlocks every weapon you can make. There's our hammer. There's our excavator. There's our broad axe. There's everything right here. So now all we gotta do is click on our stencil table. We gotta find the parts. So let's take a look here and we're gonna kinda work on our hammer real quick. So I need a tough tool rod, a hammer head, two large plates, and I need to go sleep. Now, our more advanced tools, the broad head, the broad axe, and the broad axe, not so much. The broad axe is not going to be that complex. The hammer that we're going to build is going to be a little bit more complex than normal, just for the simple fact of I'm going to be using it a lot. I want to have the extra modifiers for it. And so to have those extra modifiers, you have to do, you have to make something out of paper, pretty much. Paper, not the strongest material. In fact, probably the crappiest material you can get. Uh, I certainly don't recommend using it for anything big. You use it for something big, you're asking for trouble. I uh, used to, in the earlier stages of Tinkers, use it for my, there it is. It was there the whole time, I just missed it the first time I looked for it. Uh, I used to use it all the time for building my handles. I'd make the handles out of paper. Why? Cheap, easy, gave it extra modifiers. Wasn't as worried about durability. I was also a noob player. Now that I know a little bit more, I actually pay attention to my durabilities and everything. I don't build with paper. I'll use paper for like the binding or something. Still gives you the extra uh, I can't think of it. But it still gives you the extra modifiers that you need. I'll even take a look here in the book just to ensure because I'm not going to build it out of paper if they don't do that anymore. So we're going to go up. Tools and materials. Paper. See? Writable. Writable. More words. More modifiers. It's only logical. Although squeaky is... N oh, that's sponge. That's why. <laughs> squeaky. Your tool is so soft and squeaky it gains silk touch but deals no damage. Okay. <laughs> that seems absolutely pointless. Oh, but uh, you want to use it as your extra because you build it your handle with it, you're only getting five. You get more durability using it as your extra than you do using it as your handle or even as the head or anything else. You always want to use it as your extra. So eventually, the guard on my sword, I'm going to switch it out with paper. Okay. That's a problem. I have yet to find any sugar cane on, the, cane on this map at all. Alright, uh, give me one moment to look for some supplies here, and I will get right back to you. And then just for the uh, streamer, the person viewing me, I'm not actually leaving. I'm just going to be putting a cut in there. Paper wall, really? I'm going to be putting a cut in there. Uh, 
Just because I'm not going to have my viewers sit here and watch me play with this. No point. Sawdust. Sugar cane. The book. Oh, freak. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to sit here and make them watch me run around here trying to find sugar cane. You have to find rubber trees too. That's another thing that's kind of concerning. <laughs> oh crap. First time ever to notice you have no food. making food. <sighs> How far can I get before I die? I don't even know if you can starve to death anymore, can you? No, there for a while they took that feature out. You only go down to like half a heart. Big potatoes, what did I do with them? Why did I even put them away? Oh yeah, there we go. So I need to get planted up as my potato farm. I'm gonna check this north bank right here. To the streamer, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not getting off. I just wanted to say thank you. It really means a lot to me. Uh, just been doing this. Just started about a week ago. Really hoping this goes somewhere. I enjoy doing it. And I, me and my wife enjoy doing this together, actually. She's been doing it with me. She's been helping me with it. There it goes. She's been helping, with, helping me with it quite a bit. And we're both really hoping it takes off and goes somewhere. And why am I down? Wow. Go hungry fast enough? But if you have any suggestions or anything, feel free to let me know. I am watching the chat right now. Uh... If you are the person that, uh, let's see. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it looks like Miss the Egg there at the end. Why I did Miss the Egg or something like that. Or what? Why? 
I, Dr. Messy Egg, or something like that. Uh, if that is, who's in the chat? Very strange first comment. But, I mean, hey, whatever. Doesn't bug me none. Unfortunately, I will not do that. I'm not going to get banned from here. Of course, now it's getting dark out. So I've been really crappy with this new 1.0 system. The 1.10. I've been really crappy with the fighting in it so far. Tiger wood. That's new. Do I have an axe on me? Yes, I do. you. I don't have the time right now to d fix that either. Oh my god, if I spend the next couple hours looking for sugar cane, I'm going to be irate. I hope the video quality is better right now than what it was yesterday. The video quality yesterday, uh, frames kept, it had a bunch of frame lag for some reason when on the stream. On my side, it looked fine. On the stream, it looked like crap. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to figure it out, trying to work it out, trying to make sure I deliver a quality, quality, uh, quality, period. I just want to deliver quality to the viewers. Let's see here. What is Reed good for? What can I do with you? Um, don't remember the button anymore. R? Yep. What? Reed makes iron, apparently. That makes no sense. Oh, that's why. Huh. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Read is useless. Okay. Put that out of the inventory now. I probably picked it back up, but whatever. <sighs> but yeah, apparently I was having a frame rate issue yesterday. Not sure why. I know right now it might be a little jumpy just for the whole moving from area to area. Well, that was anticlimactic. There it goes. At least it's not like the old old errors. You just get that trunk load error. That was hilarious. It's like the second worst thing in the world you could, get, you could ever get. You'd be able to see all the way down forever. All the way down the entire trunk. It was almost like they just took an entire trunk, cut it out of the world, and just picked it up and left. No bedrock, no nothing. You jump in it. And you'd fall to your death. <laughs> I remember there was one time I had had a base and loaded it up, and all of a sudden my uh, had a chunk loader right where I was at. 
beehive. Hmm. Had a chunk loader right where I was uh, living at. Plummeted to my death. That was no bueno. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never had this much trouble finding sugar cane before. Ah, finally. There we go. Okay, so after about almost 10-15 uh, minutes of looking around, finally found some sugar cane. Uh, to anybody who is watching me live, you got to see the action of me walking around. There we go, now we're getting back to the base. Okay, now, we just went on that nice little run. We're going to use about half of this right off the bat. The other half we're going to plant. And we're going to keep it. Keep it. I'm going to come over here. Do I have stone again? Yes, I do. There we go. Now, we're going to get this hammer finished, finally. So let's take this, put that up there. There's our plate. We need, we're going to need two of these because you need two per hammer. Boom. There's that. Going to need a tough binder, which we can make straight out of paper. And I believe if you hover over it, it'll show you on the material cost right there underneath the name, three. We have exactly three paper. And okay. Oh, 0.75 paper, really? Okay, we're going to have to change that later on. We're not going to have enough paper for it. I'm going to have to harvest some more paper before we actually get that. Did not realize that they had changed the value of paper. Alright. Go ahead and open the parts chest. We're going to throw everything in there real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Get our last two baked potatoes. There we go. And we're going to start getting this all nice and cooked up. So let's get our clay down here again. we got one block left. We are going to need to cook up more clay. So let's go ahead and get that started. And we're going to open. get a clay pattern for everything. Get this going. Now for the material here, I'm probably going to use a lot of the same. Still going to use bronze. Still going to use uh, iron. I'm going to use bronze for the main head part. Iron for the hammer. And then the binding here is probably going to be made of stone. So I'm probably going to just leave that as it is for the time being. Actually, I know that I am. Because... I'm going to make it paper later. I don't want to put a bunch of materials into it just to turn around and not not use it. Or just to turn around and replace it. I want to have those extra writables on there and everything. And like I said, paper is one of the ways to get extra writables. If you get that, you can make your stuff just insanely strong later if you do your upgrades and everything correctly. Which we'll go over in... Probably not the next episode, but a couple episodes from now. So I go ahead. We're gonna finish put, putting this hammer together. We're gonna get the that's the tool rod. So we need iron for that one. So we have our magnet. Go ahead, get some more iron dumped out here. Now in Feed the Beast Infinity, you don't have AE two, and you do not have <coughs> Neotech. So this is your uh, only form of or duplication until you can get into IC2 mechanism stuff like that. Now I'm gonna put the hammerhead together here. So I need the bronze. Oh, that's still cooling. I like how they gave it that percentage bar now. There it is. The other one here. 
almost got everything we need. Those noodles are fucking bomb. I know. You can't be cussing. All right, last part here. As soon as it finishes. There we go. All right, now we're gonna open up our tool forge. We're gonna go in here to the hammer. And apparently that's crazy. I didn't need the binding anyway. Hmm. Well, that's gonna change the makeup of this a uh, little later on down the road. That means I'm going to have to figure out what I want to make the rest of this out of. There we go. Now you have your hammer. Go ahead and we're going to show this off here real quick. Make sure both doors shut. Yep. Now there is a reason I like the hammer. We're going to come down here to about Y45. Should be one more layer. There we go. It's about Y45 right here. Boom. And there we go. Now you can just start mining. And mining. And mining. So much faster. And then you got your pick because you're not going to want to sit there and use your hammer on this little part and just make giant weird looking holes and everything else all over the place. You're just going to want to do that in a nice little clean fashion. At least I do, but I'm slightly OCD when it comes to my mining and everything. Let's see. Does a nice little 3x3 three three grid real quick for you. And then you still got your pickaxe to do the smaller things. And then excavator is the same thing, just that it works on like your shovel. But other than that, that ends this episode. Uh... Thank you, Stalker Nation, for watching. Give me a comment, a like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I have both at Daystalker.